thanks for allowing me to have a couple minutes here tonight. At first I thought, well, what I have to say is, is probably not appropriate, but the more I sit here and the more I listen to um, having confidence in our storage of waste and how what a wonderful job the NRC has done in their this stuff never leaks. I have, um, today I'm speaking, um, I'm a member of several groups, uh, the most uh, closest one to my heart at this moment is a group called Fukushima Fallout Awareness Network. And I came from Japan, I lived there for 25 years, and I'm speaking uh, from the position of being a mom. I'm responsible for feeding my children, and I'd like to address us, I'd like to address, just bring up some key issues that we might not be um, connecting the dots to. When we talk about nuclear waste, it's um, obviously we have Hanford Reservation leaking into the Columbia River. We've had several issues with Indian Point leaking into uh, Tritium, into the uh, Hudson River. We've got all sorts of um, issues, uh, above ground nuclear testing that went on uh, all over this country in several sites until 1963. We have a history of accidents reported, unreported. We always have our regulatory agencies coming in and saying, there is no immediate problem. The public is not at risk. There is no problem with public health. I'd like to address one thing that we might not know. In Japan, there is an ongoing uh, triple nuclear meltdown, and they have um, standards for the contamination in their food. It is the lowest and strictest in the world, being 100 becquerels per kilogram. This is for food that we eat, 100 becquerels per kilogram. It's a standard of tangible waste. I'm gonna finish really, really quickly. In the United States, we allow, the FDA made the standard of 1,200 becquerels per kilogram. Where do we think this radioactive waste, cesium-134, cesium-137, strontium-90, is allowed in our food system? This is all coming from leaking waste. I have no confidence in our waste uh, management system at all. We need to understand that internal contamination affects the weakest in our society, the babies. We feed our children the food that is, have you heard of tritium in the water? These are some issues that we really, really need to think about. So go to the FDA a website and you will notice when these limits were set and it's all about the leaking radioactivity in our environment. It's showing up in our food. This is something that we need to pay attention to. And tonight, in my opinion, is a dog and pony dance because it has nothing to do with establishing any confidence.